Welcome to the Pete Show, and we're the Three Pete's. I'm Stabby Pete. Happy Pete. Country Pete. We're here to give you a beer review of a local Anchorage brewery. Uh, Midnight Sun Brewery. It's the uh, oldest brewery in Anchorage, second oldest brewery in Alaska, and it's the place I first started drinking beer. Um, uh, today, the, this, this episode, we are doing Nitro Sun Thief Porter. So this is, instead of carbonate, carbonated, it is nitronated. I don't think that's the right word. I think it's still carbonated. It's still just carbonated. On, just on nitro. Carbonated that's, with nitrogen, not carbon. That seems, that seems like... <laughs> I don't think that's right, but carbon. anyway. It seems like, it seems like, it seems like, it seems like fake news they're trying to give us by telling it's carbonated when it's really nitronated. Um... So the first thing we're going to do is going to give you our untapped rating, which is our rating we give it personally. Well, what's the uh, ABV and the IBU? Oh, shit. Yes. It's 5.5% uh, ABV and 25 IBUs. Definitely should have gotten stronger beer. Puppy Pete is very busy defending us from all the uh, bad people outside. A lot of bad people in your neighborhood, I guess. I guess. Well, I mean, me. I'm in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we're going to give our judging rating, which is more of like what we think the the rating is that it should get because whatever. Judging to style. Judging to style. Thank you for helping me out. Happy Pete. <sighs> this is very multi head. Very multi aroma. No. Not a whole lot, bro, but it was very mulch. Some, it in the glass, and then you. Some, <laughs> someone had some premature fulmination. All right, well, the head is very malty, or the, I should say the aroma is very malty. Yeah. I'm getting but, the but, coffee from the aroma and the and the flavor. But not, oh, shit. Spilling everywhere. Man. As long as I didn't spill on this fancy shirt, I'm fine. This is it's Country like Pete's. Bad news for you, this, no, no. <laughs> this is Country Pete's fanciest shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so this is regarding nitro recording to Left Hand Brewing Company on their website. Nitrogen in beer has a big impact on mouthfeel, and as a result, it shapes our overall flavor perception. Nitrogen has minimal solubility, forming lots of tiny bubbles in your glass with only one place to go up. When the beer is dispensed, a cascade of these tiny nitrogen bubbles unleashes guiding, gliding, excuse me, upwards to reveal the, the body and build to build a tight, thick head. Ayo. Yes. Ayo. The outcome is a nitro beer that is lightly carbonated with a creamy texture and smoother flavor profile in contrast to a CO2 beer that has more prickly carbonation and overt flavor. Hmm. Vastly changes the mouthfeel, and I think it perhaps the carbonation really. Yeah, I, 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 did, I never thought of carbonation as prickly. We well, notice it somewhat. Have you because ever touched a bubbly? Like she's saying, the, the, yeah. the nitro is not very soluble, whereas CO2 is. It actually, you know, is dissolved in the liquid and comes out slowly, making the, the carbonation. Uh, I definitely, you, I, I definitely feel like it's way. Creamier, more, more, more um, soft. Yeah, I, I said I never really thought about yeah. that before about how the carbonation makes it a little bit the bubble when they bubble burst in your mouth or whatever else it gives you a little bit of different a mouth feel. If you just when hold you... a little bit of this in your mouth, it you you don't get that. No, not at all. Uh, it's like carbonated. But isn't is are, are, isn't Guinness nitro? Some Mr. of them are so, certainly, yeah. certainly, yeah, and th they definitely helps with the, the kind of creamy. I, I uh, think it works from it. Better in a very dark sort of like mm -hmm. stout or yeah, porter. I agree. Uh, when you say that it has a soft mouthfeel, do you think that has anything to do with the tight, thick head? It does. <laughs> does that have good mouthfeel? Yeah. It does. I was gonna rate. I was gonna rate. I was gonna rate the mouthfeel five out of five. Is it filling your mouth? Yes. <laughs> it is indeed. With indeed. 
<laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> this is going to have to be the X-rated show. Um, I, but I, you know, I guess I, gi- I will give the untapped rating first. I'm going to give this um, 3.75. I'm going to give this one. I pretty like it. I'm going to give this one a three and a half. I like it. I like it better than the previous couple. um, My favorite favorite one from Midnight Sun so far. Stabby Pete. Well, you would think that me being a lover of dark beers and porters in particular, I would rate it pretty high. However, there's a lot of coffee flavor and aroma, Mm. which I I do not like coffee at all. One of my peculiarities and so i'm giving this a three it's drinkable but i wouldn't drink a lot of it and uh yeah it's it's mm-hmm. just a three for me i most I other dark beers most porters i'll do four at minimum i notice a lot of kind of coffee flavor that i usually associate a little more with stouts yeah. uh than a porter um this does seem like it's verging into stout territory so even though this isn't a stout it's a portal. Porter, how would you say it compares to a Guinness? How would you compare the two for those who are familiar with Guinness, but you're comparing this to that? So Guinness, even though it's a stout, does not have the coffee flavors that, that I Mm-mm. have in this at all. Um, no, this is a, this has a lot more flavor and kind of more complexity than you get from the Guinness. There's actually a uh, at Anchorage Brewing Company, there's a, a Anchorage Brewing supply on their wall of like beers this reminds me of one of those beers on there it has um it uses dark um roasted bar- whatever is it hot barley. no, no, no. Barley. barley barley has dark roasted barley and it gives it that kind of coffee flavor and I, now now he says it i totally understand where he's coming from um i mean i still i still i, I, I still like it i'm still so a fan if I'm, a, if I'm a guinness fan would you recommend this to me only if you also like coffee Yes. Mm. So if you're a regular coffee drinker and you're a fan of Guinness, you'll probably you'll probably like this. Yeah. You may not like it as much as Guinness because I mean, Guinness, Guinness is, is Guinness. Classic. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Guinness absolutely is a classic. It's the '57 Chevy. It's the '67 Mustang. It's you know. But does it have as thick of a head? No. No, it do, absolutely does not. I, I, at, I, at least not from a growler. This yeah. does not have a, a good and, head and a glass here. affects that. Too. Yeah, I think so. I think these. I, we're gonna get. I'm gonna get new glasses next week. I think you paper towel on your shelf. We get. We're getting no. I'm getting do, no head when I spin it around. I do have the name of this beer, the Sun Thief. I do. Uh, yes, it does. It is because it is. A, a it is, to man, the, it is dark. It is. I, I don't. I, I well, and, and it's a reference to the Raven, which. Stole the oh. sun and set it free. Oh, to, ah, nice. Gotcha. Local uh, uh, Alaska Native mythology. So is there anything about this beer that makes it particularly Alaskan? Outside of it being an Alaskan brewery, is there anything flavor profile-wise? Uh, uh, aside from the name no. and the brewery, no. 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 Um, so why don't we talk about the style of this a little bit? You have the that out? I am a. I am surprised by the by the lack of carbonation. Yeah, and so. But but they say that. I mean, they say that with nitros you don't get that same <laughs> kind of carbonation you get with the uh, with a regular. Right, but you should get something. Mm-hmm. You know, right now you're swirling around. There's no bubbles mm-hmm. coming up. Now, is that the beer, or is that the the growler? Right. This is the third beer we've we've had tonight where I've been disappointed by the amount of carbonation. Yeah. I think you need to have a field trip and go to the to the brewery. It's hard to it's, it's, it's hard to work. It's hard to film uh, film there, but still, I mean, it can be done. It just be like all right. So if we were trying we to judge it in post, yeah. judge the style, uh, aroma should be medium light to medium strong, dark malt aroma, often with a lightly burnt character. Optionally, may show some additional malt character and support, you know, grainy, bready, toffee like, caramely, chocolate, coffee. Um, Hop aroma low to high, so kind of big variance there. Often with resiny, earthy, floral character. Um, parents should be medium brown to very dark, dark brown, often with ruby or garnet-like highlights. Can't approach black in color. Um, 
Flavor should be moderately strong. Malt flavor usually features a lightly burnt malt character, sometimes chocolate and or coffee flavors, um, with a dark malt dryness in the finish. Uh, overall finish can be from dry to medium sweet. Um, can have a sharp character from dark roasted grains, but not sh should not be overly acid, burnt, or harsh. Medium to high bitterness, mm. which can be accentuated by the dark malt. Um, Mouthfeel should be medium to medium full body, uh, moderately low to moderately high carbonation. Uh, stronger versions may have a slight alcohol warmth, uh, may have a slight astringency from dark malts, although it shouldn't be too strong. So that's the... Mm. <laughs> General scale. I actually get a little bitterness from this. Yeah. And I think even though uh, from kind of our untapped ratings, just generally, uh, this is, seems still very in style. <laughs> or, just, yeah. or just overall from what I just read. Um, I am, um, but I do get some bitterness from it. I do, I, don't, I mean, they call it a, I wonder, sometimes I wonder how close a line there is between a porter and a stout. I think it's a more of a spectrum yeah. than yeah. a line, yeah. and I'm not sure. I definitely feel like on the, decides, on the yeah. spectrum, this one's kind of right at the edge of Porter. And yeah, so yeah, and I, I feel like I feel like, pushing it. I feel like the the one that I made from Anchorage Brewing Supply was their Anchorage Stout. I mean, they're their coffee stout. It tastes like this, although as I mean, like this is only going to be our sixth show. We'll get better. I'm sure we'll get more. Like have more. Um, no, the, memories to go off of but the the bitterness i'm picking up from that i think that may be from the roasting from the the you know aligned with the coffee flavors we're getting as well i don't think it's the bitterness you would get from hops so much mm -mm. as as from that, that it, 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 it's gotta be it's got it's, it's gonna be from the 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 malts and drink you know the, the, that part of it what was the ibu on this again 25 25 okay so it's definitely got some bitterness from hops you think uh, so even though i don't I don't particularly taste hop flavor or yeah. aroma. Yeah, it's completely it's definitely drowned got the out. Bitterness. But um, definitely drowned out right. by the, the roasty. Well, <laughs> it may not even be that it's drowned out. It may just be the Good way job. they, they use the hops in the brewing process. They may have only used bittering hops mm -hmm. or oh. mostly bittering hops. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Oiled so, the flavor yeah, yeah. off. Um, I don't do not brew many beers anymore, so I forget about how when you put it in, depending on what you get. So it might I don't taste any hops flavor, but it could be just the fact you put it in it, using it more as a bitter bittering beer. hops than anything else. Mm. And well, as far as color, like it's, it's I mean it is right on. It super is dark, dark it is. brown verging on black. Which, yes, which is in style. It doesn't have to yeah. be this dark, but it, this is a an extremely dark. Yeah, if you look straight through, it is it's black, but if you look down. At the edges part, it's definitely yeah. brown. Yeah. You know, it's golden to, to yeah. brown. Yeah. So, did you give it a score yet? No. Let me get in here. Stabby Pete, are you done? Mm -hmm. uh, I gave it a 41. I think which is excellent for the style. You know, it's Porter Virgin on Stout. Mm -hmm. I have a 39, which is pretty close to what you gave it. Um, I, I would just like, I would, my, my, complaint today of the of the midnight sun breweries they haven't been as complex as the ones we did from Sinisher. Sinisher seemed to be to have many different flavor profiles where this was these were all standard uh beers or whatever what was your score uh, I give it a 40. Oh, so 41, 39, 40. That's pretty, pretty much right in line with each other, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, they're good. And I don't know, the, the Sinister ones, were they all loggers? They might have all been loggers, because they do a yes. lot of loggers there. Um, whereas these were all ales. The closest we got to a lager was the alt beer. <laughs> um, so there's going to be kind of a lot of just, just general difference between ales mm -hmm. and loggers. Yeah. Um, well, now about the, the complexity of For Midnight Sun, uh, and, I, and I, I think I was off camera when I was talking about the Monk's Mistress is an extremely complex beer that they have. Mm -hmm. They only sell that in bottles. I've never seen it on tap, on, on tap or you know, available in a growler or even a growler. I yeah, my, my favorite Midnight Sun beer is Kodiak Brown, which is also mm -hmm. not on tap, only in bottles. Mm -hmm. um, so 
I mean, it might be that the free, the reason they put their best beers in bottles it might be what they're, what they're doing. I, I've, I've although I, I'll say I liked all the all the beers we did tonight. I've, I've, I enjoyed them all. Yeah. Um, uh, Pete, would you like to bring up our sponsor? Yes, our sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, they don't. They're not paying us yet. They're but not. <laughs> oh, give us the money. Give us the money. Mm. Our small talk of this episode is games you're currently playing. So Happy Pete. I've been playing uh, Darkest Dungeon a lot lately. Which, you know, I've played that before a while ago when it first came out. But I've been doing it again just because I love that <laughs> game so much. It is a... Uh, it's a hard game. Uh, I, I played it a little bit this recently. I always think it's weird that you can change the name of your group by moving the people around. The people are the same. If you just move the how many people are in what row they are. Yeah, order is important. Um, <laughs> great game, though. I also recommend it. I've been playing Frostpunk. I just beat it. It's super dark. People are freezing to death. It's like a nuclear winter. It has Tesla in it, which I always love. <laughs> he's, he's a bad guy. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I think that I recommend that game. It's a city builder with... Um, but it's only single player. I mean, I I I I lead to playing multiplayer games. How about you, Pete? Um, I know you'll be shocked. I, Civilization Six. I could have guessed still it. Still playing yeah. it. Could've. It's been out for almost seven years now, and I'm still playing that. Game. I look I look on your Steam <laughs> profile, and every couple of weeks there's another like weird, like how did you get that achievement achievement you gained? <laughs> it's like. It's like, and I like the last one you got was like, have Egyptians do this when the Chinese have this was like the most obscure. Do you try for those or do they just happen because you play the game so much? Uh, sometimes I've tried, I've tried for them and it's difficult, but the last one I did was, uh, you had to get, um, uh, Darwin and have him do, you know, do his thing on, uh, on the uh, Galapagos Islands. So that was kind of yes, hard. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. That, that one was kind of hard to get. I, yes, I've actually been trying yeah. for that one for a while. To get him and on a map with Galapagos Islands, is, it's, not, it's not common. No. <laughs> All right. Anything else you guys want to bring up? This is our final show of the Midnight Sun 3 Pete. Because um, we have three Pete's and we three Peted it. <laughs> or three, however you want to word that. Uh, anyway, then. <laughs> That one was actually hard to chug. <laughs> and I'm a professional. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, like, subscribe, and put in the comments how you disagree with us and what brewery we should do next. Thank you a lot.